Hi, my name is Lynn. I'm Laura. And today we're going to show you the anterior apprehension test. This test is used to impart forces to assess the integrity of the anterior capsule of the glenohumeral joint. Anterior instability may be caused due to trauma in which the arm is externally rotated and abducted upon impact, microtrauma due to frequent overhead activities, or a pathology or lesion within the joint. Indications for this test include suspected anterior instability, history of an anterior shoulder subluxation, or individuals with hypermobility in the anterior portion of their glenohumeral joint, or hypomobility in the posterior portion of their glenohumeral joint. Contraindications include a known anterior joint capsule lesion. This test is performed by providing an external rotation and abduction moment to the glenohumeral joint in which there is an anterior glide from the external rotation and pressure being put on the anterior capsule of the glenohumeral joint. By doing this maneuver, we are determining if there is appropriate stability and integrity of the anterior joint capsule. Okay, Lynn, so what we're going to do today is take a look at the capsule that surrounds your shoulder joint. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you lay down and I'm going to uh, move your arm for you, just kind of like this. And what I want you to do is let me know if you have any symptoms or you feel uncomfortable at all, okay? Okay. So we just already tested your unaffected side, so let's test your affected side. And so just go ahead and relax, and I'm going to stabilize at your elbow, and then produce the movement at your hand. Any symptoms with that? No. Um, a positive test would be indicated by pain or apprehension or any hypermobility. And um, if the test is positive, it can be reaffirmed by applying um, some pressure on the anterior capsule and then assessing external range of motion from there. Reaffirmation would be done by seeing a decrease in symptoms or an increase in external range of motion, external rotation range of motion. 